Hi everybody, we start again uh, with uh, the basic tutorials and today we will deal with uh, assemblies uh, in Salome Mecca and Codate. There are many ways to do assemblies of uh, solids. We will start with uh, the simplest one that is uh, uh, the assembly with not conformus mesh. So we will create uh, uh, two uh, cubes, this one and then another one that will be smaller, hundred, one hundred, one hundred apply and close and we will translate it by 200 basically what we want to do is to uh, create uh, a, an analysis with these two cubes uh, and to glue them together after uh, we have done uh, a mesh uh, of the two that is unconformed uh, so that uh, we will not have common nodes uh, at the interfaces uh, okay so uh, box one will be cube one we will rename it uh, cube one and this will be cube two okay in cube one we will do some groups for example uh, here we will have the fixed the fixed end and uh, we will do add volume one then on the second cube we will do other groups we will put a force on the top face so here we will call it top we will put a force and here here uh, so we will have volume 2 vol 2 add apply and then on the bottom face uh, we will see uh, contact that would be the contact area between the two okay I will check okay now we will go uh, for the mesh now we will mesh the two uh, with uh, a complete way of defining the mesh so we will start defining a wide discretization for the uh, 1D elements with a local length of 20 for example that is 1 divided 10 the length of the of the face then uh, here we will go for netgen 2D this is let's say the best way to uh, create uh, a mesh here we want uh, a quad dominated mesh it's the best way because I, I am defining the, the algorithm for 1D, 2D and 3D uh, before this video we always uh, did the choice to do in automatic mix gen 1D, 2D, 3D now we are doing a complete mesh so now we will compute it okay as you see the mesh it's very regular like that now we will import uh, the groups apply and close and now we go for the second cube where we will do a mesh that is uh, quite diverse we will go into uh, wire discretization but we will do another length that will be 10 uh, because we want that the two mesh will be Unconformed, uh, we will 
ask here to have uh, a tetrahedral mesh so not quad dominated I'm forcing also for the 2D, uh, 2D algorithm the same length of the 1D algorithm and the same I will do for the, the, the 3D mesh where I will ask again for a discretization of 10 okay running close compute as you can see the mesh are clearly unconformed I can create group for mesh uh, okay. so there we are running close now safe and we can go um, creating a compound because now in Codaster we will uh, introduce a compound of these two meshes so we will go to create a compound create new mesh we will select the two meshes two objects and uh, we will ask to create group from input objects so uh, the groups we created in the um, previous mesh will be recreated in the compound mesh and we will ask not to merge the nodes because uh, we want that the two solids are uh, separated apply and close as you can see here we have uh, all the groups uh, of the previous uh, meshes we go to ask a study okay and uh, go again a new stage mesh read the mesh we will go for uh, sorry the mesh is already in compound mesh one we'll have both meshes and uh, model definition assign finite elements Finite elements, heavyweight, yes, mechanical, 3D, okay, okay, and uh, we will go defining uh, material, I would say linear isotropic, we'll call it steel. We are in uh, megapascal millimeters. Okay, now we will assign the material uh, to all the bodies. So we will select the model we want to affect everywhere. Yes, material we will have still here. Okay, here we are now we have to assign mm, boundary condition and load let's start from the simple one we want a force here because we want to see everything that is uh, deforming uh, together so we will go for uh, force face we'll go for force face and we will go for f x for example 0 0.01 uh, sorry uh, group of elements we will go for uh, top okay then always for the simple one we will go for enforce degrees of freedom and we will select group of elements we will ask for fixed and that is the base and we will go for uh, encastre that is a fixed condition uh, automatically otherwise we will have to go like that 
and do like that remembering that uh, um, 3d mesh doesn't carry the rotational uh, degree of freedom and then there is the big command we want to uh, call that is liaison mile that stands for liaison maillage that uh, in french means uh, mm, the, the description uh, of the chaining of the surfaces uh, by the mesh so we will go to uh, the fetch armeca command to see how it works and uh, we are speaking about uh, liaison mile here we are so liaison mile uh, here in 3d one should give master mesh master of surface but then voluminal meshes adjacent with the face so mm, the master is not a surface but uh, a voluminal mesh so here we will go uh, imposing this condition and group ma master we will go for volume one so we will define this as the master uh, this command works uh, with uh, projection of node uh, of nodes so the slave nodes uh, will be uh, projected on the mesh of the master that is this volume so we will have to uh, call for the group ma uh, ESCL stands for might stands for master ESCL stands for uh, a slave uh, we will go for contact that was the, 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 the base face of the little cube and type record massif this is very important because the other one are the um, different ways that permit to uh, uh, for example to um, chain uh, to block a, um, a shell element with uh, a 3d element and so on but massif it's the uh, 3d to 3d uh, body and uh, we can go like that okay so we define the loads now we can go for static mechanical analysis for stuff this is a material field model loads we have we will have only this load and uh, okay uh, we will print this result and uh, mail dot armed save and for result uh, we will uh, ask for the mechatatic to chum with yes in this way we will print all the fields and uh, we can go for the analysis okay green light now what we want to see is the continuity let's say in the displacement field that will means that uh, is uh, um, the analysis and the liaison mile um, work good Okay, here we are. So the displacement, for example, uh, in the uh, x direction, we will go for the deformant shape. As 
you can see the body are full fixed and uh, you will see like that uh, that uh, these nodes uh, are not clearly uh, conformers uh, but uh, the deformation clearly is uh, highlighting that uh, the command uh, worked well uh, in the next tutorials uh, we will see other ways to achieve these results and uh, live long and prosperous.